Welcome back to the Torque Test channel. We wanted to shoot one of our quick tests for you guys today. Basically, how does socket type affect impact wrench power, at least for the socket and bolt size we run on our machine. So we have a Tekton shallow chrome socket that ideally you should not be using with an impact wrench. A Tekton shallow impact socket and the deep impact socket we normally use on this channel to measure power. All these are 38 millimeters. They weigh from 0.8 pounds to 0.9 pounds to 1.35 pounds on the deep one. And the idea is the heavier the socket is, the more efficient it is at transferring impact blows and thus less torque loss between the tool and the bolt. That's at least the theory that most people have. Makes sense to us, although we did have a bit of a theory of our own that there's sort of a ceiling to that logic for a half inch impact wrench. We'll touch on that in a moment. Let's get into it though. So here's today's baseline run, which is the Mako gun and our normal Deep 38. So that's 603 foot pounds, up a bit from the 594 it made in the last couple of videos, but it was oiled today, although it is oiled weekly, so it could just be normal fluctuation we're seeing here. Either way, within nine foot pounds, it's sort of splitting the hairs, and we're just interested in that delta anyways. Next up is the shallow impact socket. So let's take a look. And yes, what you're seeing here is actually two different power curves. There's just no difference between them, really. Last up is the chrome socket. And on goes the face shield. Don't try this at home. So you could call that less maybe, but that could just be down to the 4140 chromoly of an impact socket versus the 50 BV 30 CRV Tekton uses between the impact and chrome sockets, or just a difference between runs, as it's hard to call that data significant. Our point is, and our original theory was, maybe within sockets this size and weight for a half inch impact, it's more of a wash. Which is what we wanted to see, as we have some 3 8 drive sockets that we had made up, forged out of chromoly to fit our test rig, which is finally done. And these had to be quite shallow. We tried using a 3 8 drive oil filter socket on this rig, but eventually just cracked from some higher output 3 8 drives that we tried using it with. Of course, when we do test 3 8 impacts, they will go on their own list to compete head to head with each other, but we thought it might be nice if the results at least compared somewhat to the half inch tests we have been doing so far. Lastly, we do also have a theory that most people are onto something about socket weight playing a part but perhaps with smaller sockets, which radically fluctuate in mass between them. In order to do that though, we'll need to be coming up with a different bolt, nut, and plate combo in order to test these smaller hex sizes. Something with a smaller hex drive, but also large enough threads that will survive some of the huge full-size impacts that we do test. This would allow us to test more unanswered questions like about thin wall lug nut sockets, and other types of things that have been requested in the comments but wouldn't fit our current setup. No spoilers here as we have about as much idea as you guys on the answer to those questions. So stick around, stay tuned, and find out with us. Thanks for watching.